Hey guys, I'm Erica. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about what a construction management major looks like and the career path that you can take with a construction management major. I went to Cal Poly Slow and I was a construction management major. Um, and when I first applied, I had so many people asking me questions about what a construction management major is and honestly I was not sure. I really had no idea what I was getting myself into at the time and I had no idea what a job from that major would look like. A lot of people were picturing me being like an actual laborer or carpenter and working, which is not the case. When you think of construction, you think about architects, engineers, and the people actually doing all of the labor. Um, but what you don't always think about is the construction manager who is kind of the middle man between all of those entities. Being a construction management major really sets you up to be in that role, to be the manager and be the person in the middle of the owners, the architects, the engineers, and have a large role on site. For the coursework, it is a mix of business classes, which I honestly feel like the job is so much more business related than anything else. Engineering, architecture and then some just like major classes that are construction specific like scheduling or just learning about the different types of construction also i know at some other schools they have like a construction engineering major which i think has a more heavy focus on the engineering side of it um, where construction management is a little bit more business focused honestly i would say that the business side of it is some of the most important side of it because you should be able to understand um, how things work and basic engineering ideas or concepts but you're not going to be the one doing the math or doing the drawings I think that the exposure to engineering is a little bit more just so you have a basic understanding of what you're working with but you are not necessarily going to be doing any engineering yourself same with the architecture you will be working a lot with the architect and so it's good to understand some basic concepts um, and be able to propose ideas to them but you are not the architect on the project. The business side of it however is pretty heavy in the sense that you will be doing the communication between the owner, the architect, the engineer. You'll be doing the document control, the billing, the scheduling and that requires to talk a lot with different groups of people which I feel like is more of a business skill um, to be able to write emails and talk about money and talk about somebody you know being on time with their schedule and tracking things documenting things those are a little bit less like math stem skills and more business just kind of like basic skills of being organized you're not going to need to know how to operate any tools yourself obviously having an understanding of all this stuff is definitely really helpful when you're working in a role like this. Most people with a construction management degree go into project engineer roles, which eventually leads to project management roles. Relationship building is really big in this industry. Working with owners and architects that like working with you as a contractor and then also having subcontractors that work well with you and are willing to work with you because obviously like no matter what, every single project has hiccups and bumps along the way and it's really important to be working with people who are willing to meet you halfway and sometimes you have to give and sometimes they have to give you could go more into the superintendent role which it's not a job that you necessarily need to graduate from college to have but there are some people who do major in construction management and decide to go that route um, basically you are the head of the field so you are running the work you're out there every single day managing the laborers and the carpenters a lot of superintendents have worked their way up from being a laborer or carpenter and working into the superintendent role which definitely having some experience which would be more technical experience like actually doing work um, would definitely be beneficial if you do want to go that route there are internship opportunities to work as a carpenter's apprentice. I knew a few people who actually did that and whether you decide to go the project engineer, project manager route, or if you want to go the superintendent route, I do think that doing a carpenter's apprentice internship is beneficial with 
either way you want to go. Really good understanding of the field and gaining some technical skills, which are really valuable, especially in this day and age where I feel like having skills like that are harder to come by. So if you do prefer to work out in the field a bit more and not have so much of a business role, um, but you still want to be somewhat of a manager and be higher up, the superintendent role would be a good fit. It's definitely a stressful job having to coordinate everyone out there every day. It's something that you couldn't necessarily do from home because you really have to be there talking to people on site, you know, managing your own people and all the subcontractors on site. Whereas the project engineer and the project manager um, ideally are on site with everyone just so they are constantly in the flow and in the know of everything but do have a little bit more flexibility to work from home and don't necessarily have to be there every second of every day. That is a general gist of what a construction management major is and the career paths that you can take with that major. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.